So it looks like I was right, like I told you in the other video. Auntie has $75,000 of my mom's money. Auntie who's not even remotely poor herself and can't even spring for new towels for my mom. In the text that she wrote me after she was here that day, she, she last Thursday, she um, wrote, you know, I took, I took a couple of your mom's towels. Yeah, you can't even wait to do that and it looks like you definitely took my leopard print towel. All my mom's towels are crappy. I'm the one who had the good towels because I bought them brand new when I was at Bobby's. And then I bought brand new ones recently at Walmart, super, super cheap ones, just to have different towels to do my videos in. Um, they were super cheap towels, I think they were like, I don't forget, they were super cheap though. I don't know, five bucks, they might have been two, I forget what they were, they were smaller, they were super cheap. They were just, anyway, yeah, it looks like she took my towel, like I was saying in the other video. And again, it's only a towel, but it's the principle of the thing. $75,000 of my mom's money, not even remotely poor herself, and can't spring for new towels with using my mom's money, mind you. You know what I mean? It only goes to show you what I've been saying all along. People obsessed with money and power can never have enough of either one. And believe me, my Joe would back me up on that 100%. People in this life who are obsessed, like Auntie clearly is, with money and power can never have enough of either one. $75,000 of my mom's money, and she can't, at the very least, she didn't need the towels on Thursday. She has her own towels, you know what I mean? But she has to go and grab the towels and doesn't give a shit if she might be grabbing a towel that's mine. She probably saw the big, nice leopard towel and grabbed it. Because I just looked through the whole linen closet, took every single thing out of it to make sure I didn't, I'm not fucking up and, okay, the whole linen closet, my t leopard towel is nowhere to be found. I went through the whole big pile of clothes. No towel to be found. So like I said, I'm, I'm in the 90s now, percent certain, Auntie took the towel. And it's just sick. It's because it's like, I, like I said, I don't matter. I'm scum. Everything I did for my mom in the end mounted to total fucking shit. Auntie's not even obligated to treat me like like she would be forced, legally forced, legally bound to treat her tenants who are strangers. She owns apartment buildings, she has tenants, and she's allowed to treat me like shit. She's allowed to just... She's not legally bound to treat me the way she would be legally bound to treat total strangers. Like I said, whatever. Whatever. Whatever happens, happens. I'm not turning this stuff off on in my name. I'm going to report her to the office. And if in the end there's some loophole where the winter eviction laws don't even don't don't even apply, and I can be thrown out in the cold with my dog, then I will get rid of Omar and I will go into a shelter. Well, I save up my little amount of money to get the fuck out of this state and never look back. She can't even spring for towels. $75,000 of my mom's money can't spring for fucking towels. That should show you, though, how she is. How cheap she is, that she's just obsessed with money and power, and people obsessed with money and power can never have enough of either one. Bottom line. Because come on, they're fucking towels. Of course, there's a ton in there, but that's not the point. It just reminds me of Bobby. I lived there, I paid rent, I, I thought it was my home, and in the end, they were allowed to treat me like total shit. Bobby came there with his girlfriend and probably wasn't paying attention to what she was doing. And they wound up taking my my thing, my crock, my stock pot that I paid like $13 for. And again, it's the principle of the thing. It's just like a slap in the fucking face. Like, you don't matter. And when I told him he had taken, he didn't care. It's like, yeah, whatever. You know what I mean? They came and got stuff and can't even have the courtesy to confer with me and make sure they're not taking my stuff that I had purchased when I moved in with Bobby. Because he was a friggin' single guy and he didn't, I had to buy all kinds of shit, you know, that he didn't have. Including a fucking 
big waste thing basket because he only had little one on the floor and you know Omar, Omar would be dead. You know what I mean? So I just did the same thing if she took my leopard print towel. Because I have nothing in this life. You understand? I have nothing. I am dirt fucking poor. So yeah, it's a fucking slap in the face that you can't spring for new towels for my mom and you just grab two towels out of the linen closet. Don't care if you're grabbing my towels that I paid for. Because all my mom's towels are shitty because she got them probably from your dead friend who left you everything she had because she didn't, whatever, you know. That's the bed I'm sleeping on. That's the furniture in the living room. My mom told me it's all from Auntie's dead friend who lived in this park and who left Auntie everything in the end. But she was a good friend. Yeah, I think she took my leopard print towel. I took every fucking thing out of the linen closet just to make sure and went through every piece of clothing piece by piece by piece and threw them all in the spare room. And no leopard print towel. Probably because it's a nice, big, large towel, you know, and all my mom's towels are crappy. I think she got them, if not from that dead woman, all the furniture's from the dead woman. I even had to, I found, when I first moved in here, I found spices in the cabinet that were expired ten years prior. <sighs> it's a good thing I looked, huh? I would have used them. Oh, I got those from Auntie's dead friend who left her everything. Uh -huh, Mom. They expired ten years ago, and I was about to use it. Not thinking in a million years my mom would have ten-year-old spices in her cabinet, you know. And the bed I'm sleeping on there on the floor, as you know, my mom was going to buy me a brand new bed. Wish I'd let her now, huh? Anyway, that's 22 years old, and that came the dead woman, the auntie's friend who in the end left her everything. $75,000 of my mom's money. I can't spring for fucking towels. Took my little print towel. Because it was a nice, big, giant towel. And, and compared to all the towels in there, oh, they, they also, they, some of them have my dead aunt's um, name on them, the one who was in mental hospitals her entire life or nursing homes or whatnot, practically her entire life. At least for a long time. Died in her 70s, but since I was a little girl, she was sick. Okay? Like I said, three. Three out of four with the same daddy and same mama, of course. Three out of four. Severely mentally ill. The aunt who died of pancreatic cancer escaped that fate. Um, but she also met a wonderful man when she was 14, married him when she was 18, and he was there beside her on her deathbed 50, 50 years later, or 50 something years later. 50 years later from when they met. So, there you have it. A lot of the, my mom that died relatively recently, the one, my aunt that I adored died in 2013, the one that, that was just not right ever, so I was like, that was, I don't know, someone with Bob, even what that was, but I think that's when she died, something like that. Anyway, my mom got all those towels, I think, when she had them in a apartment or, or something, or like some of them have her name on it, that's how I know. And she didn't need them going into a nursing home, so my mom got those towels. In any case, they're all old. I even would not, sometimes I would grab one, and no matter how much you wash it, because I washed them all, they'd all, they'd have things stuck to them, you can't get it off. Like, things that are just, you don't want to wrap around your body, even if the towel's clean. So yeah, I bet you anything, Auntie grabbed my nice, big, giant leopard print towel. And again, has all that money at my mom's, is far from poor herself. And it's just a slap in the face that she can't spring for towels or can't at least wait for, why don't you set aside your, for, no, she went in the window closet, did what she wanted, just like, what, did, what else did she do, people? What else did she do? Because she's God. She let Omar out of the bathroom and didn't bother to put him back in. So he was running around going to the bathroom in my mom's house. I didn't get home until 10 o'clock that night. She had no right, right to even go near him. So I need to figure out some way to not have him here tomorrow when she comes, her son comes, and strangers come.
to help get my mom's bedroom furniture and bureau and all the TV and all the crap. Me and Omar are not going to be here, even if I have to wrap him up in blankets and just hang out somewhere. I'm not leaving him here. I can't trust them. She had the nerve to let him out of the bathroom. You know what I mean? And she likes Omar, but she had the nerve to let him out of the bathroom and then didn't put him back in. And I've seen it before. I saw it with my mom's church friend. He could have. And if she had happened, she wouldn't tell me anyway. You understand? She lets him run around and she's leaving. He could easily run out. No fucking way am I leaving him here. They'll just do whatever the fuck they want, even with my dog. She proved it. I'm nice enough to leave her the keys and she can't remember. She accidentally, in quotations, doesn't leave them back for me. I could have had her break. I could have had her come with a locksmith, but actually she wouldn't even have bothered coming with a locksmith, see? Because I hadn't read the note and... You get it? If I had just hadn't instructed so-and-so at all or, or, or whatnot, then I just left and left Omar. She probably wouldn't because she's planning on coming to get all the big stuff the following week. That's what the note said, but I didn't want to read the note early in the morning when I was planning on ready to leave. Did I? No. She had no right to let Omar out of the bathroom and let him run around and not put him back in. You guys know what he does. What he does with me. What he did with the church woman that time when she was here. We were desperately trying to get my mom to go to the hospital on her own so we wouldn't have to call them on one. And you know that's like pulling teeth. She agrees to go and then doesn't want to. Da, 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 back and forth, back and forth. And the woman was tired of it. She's allergic. She was in here. She decides to leave even though I've warned her about Omar. And what happens? Even though my mom and I are here... Omar went to follow her out because he was the one in to leave and he ran outside and that woman learned her fucking lesson and she was in shock when it happened. She's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm like, all right, I know you're allergic, but we have to pretend we're going for a ride so my dog, dog Samantha, said Stephanie, whatever, doesn't run in the street, okay? She's like, yeah, yeah, whatever, Laura. And, you know, I had to go like that. Come on, Omar, we're going for a ride and we got him. Otherwise, we, I wouldn't have caught him. But you get it? Auntie comes here, lets my dog out of the bathroom, and doesn't have the courtesy to put him back in. What does that tell you about her? She doesn't leave the keys when I, her express instructions were, I don't have any keys, I will be locked out, leave the keys, and she didn't do it. Because I don't mad at her, because I'm scum, because she just forgets or whatnot, and she left. And do you think I would know it? For all I know, it happened. For all I know... Omar got out, and Auntie got him somehow and put him back in, and I'm none the wiser. You know what I mean? You think I'm going to leave him tomorrow? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. These strangers, there's going to be strangers here. If they have to use the bathroom, he'll, he'll get out. And then, you know what I mean? They don't care. You know what I mean? They have no respect for me whatsoever. I'm scum. Auntie throws me crumbs. I'm scum. Proof of that when she comes here and I didn't, you know, I was nice enough to leave her the keys and then she can't put them back from me. But on top of that, she had the nerve to let Omar out of the bathroom and didn't put him back in the bathroom. Probably because she couldn't catch him and she couldn't be bothered. Right? Couldn't catch him, couldn't be bothered. I can guarantee you, because I've seen it happen repeatedly, especially with nobody here, but it didn't matter when it happened with that church woman that time. Me and my mom were both here, and Omar still followed her outside. He doesn't like anybody in the house to leave. He does it with the um, angel's foster mama, okay? Who's now her real mama, at least for now, temporarily, and she finds her home. But you know what I mean? For all I know, Omar did almost get out or did get out and auntie got him back in and then she just put him in and doesn't or you know what I mean because he does that and especially he's going to do it when he's here alone and she's leaving oh he's going to follow her and it's very hard to stop him and I've seen it happen before with auntie my mom told I'm sorry I didn't see it happen when I was visiting Joe my mom told me that auntie came over here and Omar got out okay I think that guy, that, that guy she met in the night house came over here too because he told me. And I'm like, my mom didn't tell me any of this. No, she didn't want to upset you. But you know what I mean? You think I'm going to have him here when, when auntie, her son, and who knows who else are going to be here? Strangers who aren't going to respect the fact that my dog, you know, is desperate to get out of that bathroom. And you go into the bathroom because you have to piss or you have to poop or you have to do whatever. And he gets out and you don't feel like getting him or you have the door wide open because you are, how, you know, after all, leaving the door wide open to, for your convenience to take furniture out. No, I'm not risking it. I'm taking him with me. But I'm making a point that, that auntie can say X, Y, and Z about me, but I can make these valid points. Look 
how she treated me just coming over that Thursday. Didn't leave the keys, accidentally forgot to leave the keys when they're the only keys I have. And let my dog out of the bathroom and didn't have the courtesy to put him back in. No respect, just none. And I know for a fact because it has repeatedly happened. It's happened before with Auntie. I got, and I know it's happened. It's ha I've seen it happen with my own eyes. It's happened with me. He he is really smart. And when you're leaving, I've had to pick him up and literally toss him back so I can get out. He's ah, he desperate to get out. I said in the other video. She turns everything off me, and she's repeated said she's going to do. I'm sure she's just waiting, so it's not off when her precious son and his precious friends come here tomorrow. She turns it off. I'm not going to turn it back on, and I'm going to report her to the office. And I'll take my chances with them. I am not supposed to be here when my mom's not here. Like I said, if it if the universe wants to spit on me even more, and because my mom's not living here and I'm not supposed to be here, if they can just, you know, forcibly remove me, throw me out in the cold, I will go into a shelter and I will find him a good home. I will give up my dog. And again, I will know even more that I don't matter at all in this life. I will get that proof more than ever before. I'm not turning on the utilities in my fucking name, either electric or gas, so let her shut them off. Let's see what happens. Nothing about this is fair. It's just sickening that she's not legally bound to treat me the way she knows damn well she would be legally bound to treat her tenants. Remember, she owns apartment buildings and she was renting out her downstairs apartment to strangers and now she's renting out the downstairs apartment to my mom for probably way more money. And she can't throw me crumbs. Has $75,000 of my mom's money. My mom used to love me. My mom, who would have never wanted this to happen to me. Fuck her. Fuck her. I'm not turning on in my name, so... Let her turn them off. She turns off the gas. I'll let my mom's pipes freeze. No one can force me to turn to not do that. You make the choice. I've already told the electric company. I said if she turns off, the, I told them the whole situation. If she turns off, if my aunt turns off the gas in my mom's home, I, there's, my common sense tells me there's no fucking way in hell anyone can force me to turn it back on, and I'm not responsible if the fucking pipes freeze. I'm not paying the utilities at all. I don't care anymore because this is sick what's happened to me. It's sick that she can just be God and do whatever she wants and come in here whenever she wants and I, you know, it's sick. It's sick. If that's the law, then the law is sick. It's beyond sick. Probably because some situ a situation like this rarely, if ever, happens, you know, but it's sick nonetheless. Sick. Beyond sick. I'm definitely I'm not probably going to have to beg for neighbors or some help or something. Can I sit in your car and wrap all my own blankets? My kind of an aunt's coming here to get all my stuff, her, my mom's stuff. And I'm not leaving Omar because, and then I'll say what auntie did last Thursday. <gasps> now more people are going to be in this house. It only takes a split second for my dog to run out. I told you what happened to those dogs across the street. He has been foolishly left the door wide open for his convenience, didn't shut it, Omar and I go out, blah, 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 whatever. One dog, truck comes, one dog comes bolt into across the street, and the, the poodles, and then within a second, the other one dead. Could have easily got hit by a car right in front of me, dead, killed an instant like that. That's how easily something can happen. And then he yells at his wife, why don't you keep track of those dogs? No, why don't you, you know your dogs have done that. They've done it before. Why don't you never leave your freaking door open like that for your convenience when you have dogs? Blame your wife. I bet you got inside and she let you have it for blame. And they, my friends down there know them. She's like, I bet she did let him have it. But the bottom line is that things can happen in a split second. Strangers are going to be in here. Not just Auntie and her son. Strangers. I'm not having my poor dog in the bathroom. Because I can guarantee you, you know he's going to be screaming. They're not going to want to hear it. They will probably let him out because they have no respect for me. You understand? You think I'm wrong? You know I'm not. He screams in that bathroom. They have to be here listening to it. And they will probably let him out. 
Now, they will probably put him back in, considering, you know, but if, if I just watch my videos and knows, but who cares? The fact is, they will probably let him out and something could easily happen. Because people, it's not their dog, why should they, you know, people can be very careless when it does nothing, to, not their dog. That's why that church woman, she, she's, my mom's driving her crazy, she's being nice enough to drive us to the hospital. Oh, and by the way, right on the way there, my mom decided she doesn't want to go. And I'm like, well, what are you going to do? I get out in the middle of the highway? You know, but whatever. And um, that woman couldn't stand it. She's allergic. She, I had warned her about Omar, but nobody ever listens to me about Omar. And then he got out, literally. It wasn't that he, he got out. She wasn't, she left me without even telling me. He followed up. She didn't believe me. You understand? When it's not that your pet, you don't fucking care. A stranger isn't going to be here. Might have to take my dog somewhere. No fucking way am I leaving him here tomorrow when I take off. Which means I can't take off for the day I just go somewhere to hide or whatever until these assholes are gone.